Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Ghana playthrough here in Cold War Iron Curtain mod. And uh, where we left off last time, we managed to take Algeria, Cote d'Ivoire. Um, I think we also cleaned up uh, Mauritiana um, over here. And now we're setting our sights on cleaning up this last cluster of Western Africa before we start to set our sights further north. Before we get into today's episode though, do be sure to click the like button to help with the engagement. And of course, drop a sub because we upload here on the channel every single day at 2pm GMT London time. So again, if you want daily uploads of Hoi, drop the sub button. And uh, without further ado... Let's get into it. So as I was saying in the last episode, things were looking slightly more positive. We're finally able to start building at a fairly quick pace. Once our civvies get up, we're going to start producing some more military factories. But if I can, I, although it's not necessarily a good ratio to have, I want to try and have a 60 to 5 or 60 to 6 uh, ratio um, on the on the civs to mill factories. Just because I do need that building speed desperately. Like, I desperately need it. Um, we need to try and produce as many civvies as possible because... I am a GDP up. Although we have this goal to be like the power of Africa, I also want to be the power of the what? Huh? What happened here? I've not loaded up any external mods. That that there there there, there are no mods missing. The world is fine. No, it's not. Oh, okay. So um. J J J J J J J Japan and um, America and Canada they're not feeling very well um, <laughs> um they um, they're, they're, they're not feeling very well at all uh, the West um, the West is feeling a little sick I think they've got the flu um, uh, we, we'll just leave them alone they don't, they don't exist the world is literally just this okay the world is CK3 map this is the world, okay? If we look here, Canada kind of looks normal. We'll ignore the little patchwork here. Brazil looks normal. Africa itself looks normal. Europe, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, no, even what? What? What is happening? What is happening? Why is this happening? I, 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 I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Everything's falling apart. This makes no sense. This, this, this uh, you know what? We're just going to ignore it. We're going to ignore it and carry on, okay? We're just going to ignore it and carry on. It doesn't exist if we don't acknowledge it exists, okay? That's the mentality we need to have. Moving on. Anyway, as I was saying, we need to clean up the West Africa region. Um, I still haven't done my justification. Oh, my Lord, I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. We're going for Mamu. We're going for Mamu. Can I even beat them? You've got one division, two divisions. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, I just everything's fallen apart. I can't make heads or tails or anything. We're going, we're going to Conquery. We're going to conquer Conquery, and then we'll go and sort that. I, I, oh my word. So in between the time between last episode and this episode, I came up with an idea. Now previously I said I wanted to have West Africa controlled by Ghana, South Africa controlled by Lesotho, and then East Africa controlled by Ethiopia. But I figured that might not be as feasible as I once thought, um, especially because we want to puppet them. So, how do we make things easier? I'm thinking of creating the Five Nation Alliance, or the EFNA. Well, I say EFNA because five is F and Nation Alliance is NA. So, EFNA, right? I'm thinking of the EFNA, right? With EFNA, or FNA, right? What we're going to do, we're going to have us controlling West Africa and Northwest Africa. Down here... This little area here. Um, I am... Oh, the Atari. I'm thinking of having it under... Maybe Equatorial Guinea or Gabon. Right? And having them control all of this. Then, in the south. If we can, we're going to go for Lesotho. It might be a little bit difficult. Um, we might just have to go for Swaziland instead. Just because they're easier to get to. So we can puppet them. Okay? Or we can try and do the whole puppet system. And try and get them that way. I mean, that would probably be more beneficial, huh? Uh, so we can focus on them doing it that way over time. And that way we've got one, two, three. Then we've got two more over here. Ethiopia will take this part of Somalia. Sudan, Eritrea. Um, and then uh, Djibouti, if we can get it. As well as Egypt. And then for this little part here, I'm going to hand it off to little Rwanda. Should I give it to Rwanda or should I give it to Burundi? Who's got the cooler flag? 
Uh, we're going to go Burundi. Burundi's got the cooler flag. Sorry, Rwanda. Um, yeah, we'll give all that to Rwanda. And then that's how we're going to achieve our status quo of Five Nations Alliance. Um, research speed. No, I want to try and get some more support companies now. Engineers, let's get them in. Okay, so we've got two more months until we can actually go and face the people of uh, Guinea. But before we do that, I need to buy some equipment. Okay, so I'm actually going to go and buy um for 50 billion so i've got loads i've got 500 billion stocked up um i'm literally going to go and uh buy 10,000 infantry equipment just because i need to top that up as well as um 3, artillery pieces for that 100 billion um and i'm also going to buy some light tanks for uh 200 billion now that is very very taxing on the economy um but i do need the stock i, I do need to get my hands on the stock right so that'll tap this back a little bit um it will tap back the artillery um a little bit or the medium artillery a little bit um and then also atop that as well it'll also give us some light tanks so i can maybe start thinking and considering about the options of bringing in an armored core it all depends on getting my mill factories i, I need to get a consistent supply there's no point getting uh, the equipment in itself if i've got no supply for said equipment to continue um but it's just you know a preparation as it were um over here we have a naval dry dock i don't want to have that for the moment yeah for now just focus on these for now just focus on these get the civvies in if we can get these civvies in we can just absolutely boom the country even if it's just putting infrastructure all over so we've got like one actually if we've got three out of five on the infrastructure um Everyone has at least a municipal infrastructure. Everyone has at least a water infrastructure. Everyone has at least a food infrastructure. If we can get that done and those three done on every state, I don't have to worry. Like, my, my, my country will be able to, like, lift itself up from the ground. Uh, I also want to have a look. Because America's lost a bit, does that affect their GDP? Their GDP is still 590 billion. Okay, and my GDP is 117. So, I'm 400 behind. Canada... 89 we're richer than canada okay we've got a higher gdp than canada a higher gdp no only just slightly slight slightly cheaper a slightly slightly smaller rather uh gdp than france smaller than the uk bigger than spain bigger than portugal a lot smaller than the union and only a little bit smaller than china it's bigger than india we've got a bigger india a bigger um, uh, economy or bigger GDP than India. That's interesting. Okay. Um, Iran, bigger than Iraq, Saudis, uh, Turkey, bigger. What about Italy? Bigger than Italy. What about the Germans? The Germans are 60. Okay. Uh, Netherlands. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so overall, we're up there. Like, if I, I wish this had a leaderboard function. Does this have a leaderboard function? I don't think it does. Um, I, I, it'd be nice to see... If there was a leaderboard function, like there is in Hoi, and compare the GDPs, I feel like that'd be really, really fun to do. If I press G, and it pops up. My monthly balance of 38.1 bill. Okay. I've got a GDP growth rate of 48.10. That's pretty damn good. My civilian value is good, but I need that to get even, even higher. And I'm hoping I'll be able to achieve that um, by pumping out these infrastructures. But we'll have to wait for that. We're about to go into Guinea, 16th of November now. And the date is due on the 8th of December. So we'll go pay them a visit on the 8th. Uh, get our dancing shoes on um, and hopefully be able to party properly. Um, I need to wait for my in infrastructure build up. And that focus finishes. Hold on, let's have a look. Um, infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. It's the next one over, isn't it? There we go. Get bump, bump, bump like that. No, welfare. Wrong one. Is it this one? Oh, this is the one. 1st of April, 79. So we've got to wait. Oh, I've got to wait so many years. Oh, no. Okay, right. That's fine. Municipal guard. Get it done. Get it focused on. Oh, okay. I must have read that completely wrong then. Because I've got industry build up here. And that's a lot sooner than two years from now. So I must have read the wrong thing. So the second this finishes in 20 days, uh, we can then start going down our other focuses and continue to build up the industry. Our justification for Guinea has now finished. So we're going to go and declare, immediately put the troops on go, set the goal for conquer, and we're going to storm on in. At the same time, I'm going to have a look at a new nation to play with, uh, 0 0 one to senegal okay senegal have also got quite a good economy so they will also aid us in ours um tabacunda will be our next target and uh whilst we wait to have that happen i'm going to take one of my infantry divisions and have them walk all the way around down here down the coast into conquery and then all the way back up rest of my divisions i'm just gonna let the ai take over and let the ai do with them what they want to do and um, but for the most part i think we're pretty good for the most part i think we're good we, we've, we've got a good uh we've got a good future ahead of us <laughs> for the moment at least 38.1 bill i'm pretty sure that dropped to like 26 or 21 billion like 
last episode at some point. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, just keep our economy growing. Um, I also want to maybe boost. Hold on. Let me go to my services, public services. Yeah, that's the one I was considering. Because it boosts the repair as well. Pos uh, PS per capita. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the risk. I'm going to take the risk. Yeah, okay. So it's only knocked us down a little bit. And that's helped our services a lot. What about this? Production efficiency cap. Growth. Cost per capita. Do it again. Right, it's boosted it up a bit, and it's going to take us down to about, yeah, 23 mil. Or 23 bill, sorry. And then we're going to take some more territory, and our services are going to expand. Yay! Everything's going tippy-top. I'm very happy with this. <laughs> Okie dokie, and now that our focus has completed properly, we can now go back over here and go down the industry hub. No, I, wanna, I didn't even say industry right. What did I say? I said industry. Industry. industry, industry. Welcome to the industry um, focuses. Um, we're going to have a look here at our industry focus here, and it's called industry just lies. <laughs> The industrialized focus, which gives us construction speed for the office park, the agricultural park, uh, the power plant, or basically everything that we are building. Industrial park as well. For 180 days, it will give them a boost, which is perfect because that's literally all we are building for the foreseeable future. So I'm happy to do that. It's going to add an industrial park in Lac, which is one more civvy factory. I'd be very, very happy to take that. 50 days for that to happen. And then once we finish this focus, I believe... That will also get the industrialization uh, focus thing again on our setting. And then we have to wait like three months to be able to go and do another one. Um, after that, I think I can do go down Urban Renewable, uh, which also does, again, the same focus of boosting the construction speed. Um, I think this also explains why our construction speed is booming in comparison to what it was earlier. Um, God, I love focuses. Um, these guys are about to come on through. Ignatius is about to take Conquery and Kinida. Is it Kinida? Oh, it's Kindia. Sorry, Kindia. My bad. Um, and if we have a look at the state of the world, or the war, they're going to cap. I reckon, yeah, no, they're going to cap. The second we take Conquery, uh, it's game over for them. I don't think they're going to hold out any longer than that. These guys are tippy-toeing. I don't know why they're tiptoeing. It's literally just a random tile. There's nothing special around it. Please, guys, for the love of God, just get in there and get it done. Um, how long until we go to Senegal? 12th of April, so two more months. Okay, no, three more months. I always forget. Is it just me, or does everyone also forget that March is a month? In my head, subconsciously, it's January, February, April, May. March doesn't exist. Why does March exist? I don't believe in March. It's a myth. It's a myth made up by the government. <laughs> oh, dear. Okie dokie, but this is where I'm going to end today's episode, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed. I'd like to consider this the end whilst we take uh, Conquery and set our troops towards Sierra Leone. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure what's happened in the world. I don't know why half of Canada's just disappeared. And why Texas and California have decided to leave the planet. Um, I don't know. Maybe they found a really good space program. Um, who knows what's going on there. There's random parts of fog in China. Guinea's capped. Wonderful. Japan has just decided to surrender half of its place. And just send half of half of Japan to space with Texas and California. Again, I don't know what's happening there. Um, but this is where I'm going to end the episode. Again, thank you for so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the episode. If you have enjoyed, drop a sub. Um, also, drop a like as well. Every little helps. And join us next time where we hopefully start cleaning up more of West Africa. I'm hoping in the next episode that we can take Dahomey or Benin, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Senegal. And that way we're just left with these two here before we can start looking north. But that'll be for next time. So again, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!